Diversity is really an opportunity from a social justice perspective. When co companies sit down to think about their diversity program, to design the, the diversity program, the focus is so much on their own staff, their own immediate teams, rather than thinking more broadly about the diversity in a sustainability context. So I'm a corporation who is impacted by the work that I do. Are there you know, other stakeholders who, who may be sort of further down the line, such as uh, local communities in which we might be um, you know, uh, running our businesses or, or operating, workers who may be extremely vulnerable by virtue of a number of reasons, um, displaced people who may have been displaced by activities, and various other ways in which you know, the corporation may be um, participant knowingly or unknowingly in environmental degradation. So from a social justice perspective, there are a couple of angles that are very interesting. One is the sustainability point. When you look at the example of you know, slavery at sea, for example, the, the Thai seas have been fished and overfished to the point where to make it a competitive industry and to remain one of the largest exporters in the world of seafood, um, there had to be major cost adjustments. The major cost adjustments came from the human cost, which was sort of negated and it was negated by the use of slaves on fishing boats and you know the reality for a lot of these people is that they work very long hours they're often beaten they're not paid and many of them fall sick and we end up being complicit in all of this simply by virtue of buying fish that comes from you know uh, from harvest fish which is fished or harvested by uh, fishermen who are enslaved now, from a sustainability perspective, there needs to be a lot more consideration for what the environment has to offer and what it can offer and its limitations. And added to that, one must fold in the whole concept of, you know, what impact are we having, not simply on the environment, but on the communities that are there? Uh, what, what we are doing, is it going to push um, conflict within the communities. If you look back at, for example, the conflict of the Ogoni people with Shell in Nigeria, if you look at, for example, uh, the mining of conflict minerals in the DRC, they all go to show how exploitation of um, uh, natural resources and the environment uh, in, a, in an unsustainable fashion lead also to the exploitation of people. So I would argue when you're designing your diversity programs from a social justice perspective, workers and vulnerable communities need to also be seen as investors in the process and therefore need to be included in um, the considerations that are made. And the second one is, is really you know, trying to achieve um, a shift from simply thinking of um, risks to business, immediate risks to business, and to think about risk to people. And not taking into account diversity, not taking into account um, inclusion in particular, at all levels of different stakeholders within the business, is a risk to business. And it's a fairly major risk. We've seen now how um, there is increasing regulation around uh, disclosure, corporate governance, etc. And where all of this is driving at is to move from you know, this being uh, human rights being an ethics issue to one of accountability. People need to be held accountable. I think what should really happen is there should be a shift, first of all, from the risk to business to risk to people. And it is very important um, at the same time to think about, you know, the the you wouldn't want to regulate, to sort of have, um, the, see the way I see it is that it's much better to be able to have um, corporations that are able to use leverage to change the way business is done, as opposed to, to saying, well, I'm only going to invest in you because you're a clean fund or you're a clean company. It's very important for people to be able to use leverage and to start bringing about change in relationships they have with others 
to bring about this level of change, you yourself need to be clear about what your narrative is as a company, how committed uh, to this are you, and whether you're indeed able um, to, to push this out in your external relationships with other people. And you know, one of it involves adjusting to the mindset that actually sustainability and risk to people um, and considering those will eventually lead to better business outcomes. And I think once people start wrapping their head around this, uh, and this is the path that is being sort of blazed by the organizations that the investors that are investing in ESG type funds, they are proving that actually it is very profitable to do that. So really this is something that should be adopted across the board and not simply be the prerogative of a, of a small slice of organizations. Thank <music> you.